All right, guys, I've been working on this old Carter 2435 go-kart with a five horsepower Briggs and Stratton motor on it. And really it just, it was, wouldn't stay running. It was just, uh, couldn't start it without starter fluid. Uh, so I swapped out a new spark plug today, took the tank off, drained the tank, uh, filled with 93 octane fuel on eBay. I got the boots for this side and the, the other side and the engine. Uh, so that those are all uh, not leaking and new gaskets and put a new carb on as well uh, the other carb was filthy uh, the head intake uh, filthy as well and then as I got it put back together everything was the engine was running well but the linkage for between the governor and everything was just you know, it was just running horribly so I'm gonna show you what I did here it seems to have worked out and given a whole lot more horsepower um, originally throttle cable you know screw mounts it here and then when this uh, that would be the wide open throttle throttle goes open uh, the governor it's connected on the other side with a spring to the governor arm and then that spring pulls down and the whole throttle linkage up here you know this guy would move I just it was just so weak there was nothing so uh, the way it was set up Forgive the backyard mess here. Is uh, this piece of linkage went between this armature here, which is the other end of this, is connected to the governor arm, and then here. Um, so there was just no throttle response. So what I ended up doing, getting frustrated with it, is I pulled the throttle cable off of down below. Use that same bolt that was holding it and just bolt, screwed it right to the side of the uh, carburetor. It was just enough cable coming in from under the seat. And I removed this piece of linkage, put the cable through, bent it over, and literally <laughs> I've just wrapped electrical tape around it to hold it. Set my idle with the idle screw there. And now when I hit the, uh, hit the pedal, I get all of that response. And she's really cooking around now and then to get the return uh, let's see if I can show you here this spring this spring was pointed the other way so the same end hooked uh, excuse me the other end uh, hooked the long end was in this hole and then the other end hooked on right here so I've now just swapped that spring so that it pulls it uh, pulls it back to idle because that side's idle and pulling it back this way would open it up so if you, any of you guys have these old motors and want to get a little more out of them uh, literally I just for that spring zip tied it to the intake so yeah no give it a shot